All right. Welcome, folks, on YouTube. I want to give a brief introduction to point cloud persistent homology, or um, I guess really I'll be I'll be giving the details of check via versus uh, Viator Schrips simplicial complexes. So let me let me explain those words for you. So we've discussed how to get the shape of a data set. You might blur your vision, and mathematically you might try to encode that as you know rolling balls and seeing how the shape of the data changes um, as, as the balls grow. Now, this is really a lot in line with single linkage clustering that we saw last time, right? Whenever two balls intersect, we say that the data points are close enough that we draw an edge between them. And in, in single linkage clustering, all you need to pay attention to is the edges to, to figure out who is in what cluster. But if you want things like one dimensional homology as well, you, you'll also want to keep track of the triangles and the tetrahedra, et cetera, that appear. All right. So what I'm drawing right now is the check complex. Okay. And it has the property that whenever two balls intersect, you have an edge. I should also say you have a vertex for each data point. Whenever two balls intersect, you have an edge. And whenever three balls have a point of triple intersection, you have a triangle. And it is the case that whenever four balls have a point of quadruple intersection, you throw in a tetrahedron, which, which here looks a little weird because you know we have data in the plane. Why are we throwing in tetrahedra? Well, there's, there's this nice mathematical property that the, the union of the blue balls is the same shape. It's homotopy equivalent to this check complex. So, you know, you could shrink the blue balls down onto the red and black check complex without tearing or um, tearing anything, giving you this homotopy equivalence. All right. So there's a subtle difference between the check complex and the viator Schrips complex. Um, let me just show you the difference. Here's the viator Schrips complex. And then here again is the check. Here's viator Schrips, and back to check. OK. So the, the reason why people even consider the viator Schrips complex is because in higher dimensional space, it's hard to determine whether three balls have a point of intersection, or whether four balls have a point of intersection, or whether five balls have a point of intersection. That task becomes exponentially harder and harder in, in higher and higher dimensions. So I'm showing you right now the check complex. And I don't have this triangle here because there's no point of, of triple intersection, right? You can see that hole. In the viator Schrips complex, whenever you have all of the edges of a triangle, you just automatically throw in the triangle. Okay, and that's really just because it makes things easier to compute. We lose this homotopy equivalence property, right? Because in the check complex, it's, it's nice to have this hole um, around these edges. It's nice to have this hole in the check complex, corresponds, which corresponds to this hole in the union of the balls, okay? And the Rips complex is not that delicate. The viator Schrips complex just fills in that hole, even though there is there is this hole in the in the union of the balls, but that's not represented in the viator Schrips complex. So there's some subtle differences between check and viator Schrips, but you should think of them as trying to accomplish the same task, measuring the shape of a, a data set as a scale increases. Um, the check complex is is theoretically nicer because it's the same shape as the union of the balls, but it's harder to compute. The viator Schrips complex is what people compute in practice, but it approximates the check complex in a nice way. And we'll be looking at software in the next video. In fact, we'll look at the Ripser software package. Um, and it's called the Ripser software package because its, its main task is to compute viator's rips complexes. Last final plug is I'll say that um, 
View tour strips complexes, yeah, they're really an approximation tool for check complexes, but they motivated a lot of nice theoretical questions, which is one of my main thrusts of the, the research aspect of my work. So any public questions? Uh, could you possibly give an example of why you would use the Viator's rips complex versus the Sheck complex? Computation. You you pretty much in data context, you pretty much always wish you could compute the Czech complex, but um, but it's too hard. It's too difficult. Uh, like your computer would never stop running. Um, but the point is that the persistent homology barcodes that you compute for either one are quite similar. So maybe you use the um, maybe you use the check complex, and you get I don't know bars that that say look like like that. Okay. Now with the with the Viator Scripps complex, you won't get exactly the same bars. But they'll be relatively close. Okay, so like within, you know, a bounded error, um, you'll get you'll get very similar bars. Um, so that that's the reason why you use Viator scripts. It's actually computable, and it gives you an approximation to the bars that you might naturally want coming from check. <laughs> um, Any other? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, does the VHS rips also include tetrahedrons or does it ignore those? Yep. So whenever you have all six edges of a tetrahedron, you throw in the tetrahedron. So you can see that um, right here. I have those four edges, five and six. I have those six edges of the tetrahedron. So whenever you have the edges of that tetrahedron, you throw it in. Um, I should say, I mean, I'm giving privilege to these uh, lower dimensional simplices. I've talked about uh, vertices. I've talked about edges. I've talked about triangles. And I've talked about tetrahedra. Okay. But it keeps going. You have um, four dimensional building blocks as well. Okay, so this would be called a uh, four simplex. I don't know if there's a, a better name for that, but the tetrahedron is also called a three simplex, and the triangle is also called a two simplex. Edge is also called a one simplex. Um, vertex is always also called a zero simplex. Um, so <laughs> vertices, edges, triangles, and tetrahedron, you know, you've seen before and you've thought about, but simplices, these building blocks exist in all dimensions. And yeah, the, the check complex will contain a four simplex when you have five balls that have a point of mutual in intersection. Okay. And, and, and the, the Viator Schrips complex will contain a four simplex whenever all 10 of, of these edges here are present. Yeah. Other questions, public questions? Thanks so much.